Canada's Wonderland in Vaughan, Ontario is Canada's largest amusement park with over 60 attractions and featuring 17 roller coasters, the second most of any park in the world behind Magic Mountain in California. From the high-speed thrills of Leviathan to the precarious drops of Yukon Striker, Canada's Wonderland is truly a coaster lover's paradise. So buckle up and join us as we count down the top roller coasters at Canada's Wonderland. To get started, let's take a quick look at the park's three family coasters. First up is the Kitty Coaster Taxi Jam, which has been operating in the park's Kidville Zone since 1998. Designed to be a child's first coaster, this mini steel coaster features a themed train styled like yellow taxi cabs being chased by a police car. Next up is the Ghoster Coaster. This junior coaster kicks it up a bit with some exhilarating drops, camel humps and some snappy bank curves. It's the smallest of the three wooden coasters here at Canada's Wonderland and is one of the original rides from when the park opened in 1981. Formerly known as Scooby's Gasping Ghoster Coaster, the name was shortened to Ghoster Coaster in 2010 as part of the transition to Planet Snoopy, but still offers some moderate thrills for little ones who might not quite be ready to try out some of the park's larger attractions. The third family coaster is Silver Streak, which opened in 2001. This is Canada's first junior inverted coaster and is the largest attraction in Kidsville. The ride was designed and manufactured by Dutch firm Vekoma, who also designed two of the larger coasters in the park, and it offers some family-friendly thrills, taking riders through a helix and some other wide turns while reaching heights of 49 feet and speeds of 26 miles an hour. But moving on, let's count down the 14 full-size coasters at Canada's Wonderland. At number 14 is Time Warp, which is the only flying coaster in the park. Riders are loaded into four-person cars, which then pivot to face the ground and travel up a spiral lift before barreling headfirst through a number of inversions and bank turns. This ride opened in 2004 and was originally themed after the 2003 film Laura Croft Tomb Raider, although in recent years the branding and much of the theming have been removed. Manufactured by Zamperla, it reaches speeds of 26 miles an hour and heights of 50 feet, but has drawn criticism for its uncomfortable restraints and the track layout which has several quick transitions between inline twists, turns and dives which create a really rough ride. At number 13 is Flight Deck, Canada's only steel inverted looping jet coaster, which features an Immelman loop named after an aircraft maneuver made famous by World War I pilot Max Immelman. It originally opened in 1995 under the name Top Gun and is themed after the 1986 film of the same name. The ride was meant to simulate the feeling of riding in an F-14 fighter jet but was later renamed to Flight Deck in 2008 after Paramount Parks sold Wonderland to Cedar Fair. The train cars on Flight Deck are inverted, allowing the passengers' feet to hang freely as they pass through a series of five inversions, which include a sea serpent roll, a sidewinder loop, and a double inline twist. The train reaches speeds of up to 50 miles an hour as it passes by a number of near misses with the ground, track, and the ride supports. Unfortunately, this SLC coaster is known for giving a rough ride, causing head banging, which can be uncomfortable for some riders. At number 12 is the Fly. Designed by Mack Rides and opened in 1999, the Fly is the only wild mouse coaster at Canada's Wonderland. Guests are loaded into four-person cars and sent through a twisting and turning course, which includes a 50-foot drop, hairpin turns, and wild bumps. Like many wild mouse rides, the fly includes a number of sharp turns and gives the rider the feeling that they're going to fall off the track. Reaching just 54 feet tall and speeds of 35 miles an hour, the fly is a good ride for those looking for a few mild thrills with no inversions.
Coaster number 11 is Thunder Run. When Canada's Wonderland first opened in 1981, this coaster was known as Blauer Einsen and was located in a different area of the park. But in 1986, it was moved to its current location running around and through Wonder Mountain. Themed like a runaway mine train, the ride travels along a winding track through the darkness of Wonder Mountain and even encounters a dragon which was nicknamed Herman by the Wonderland employees. This unique coaster, which is a favorite for riders of all ages, is powered by an electric motor rather than using a traditional chain lift hill and makes two full circuits per ride cycle. And entering the top 10, we have the Great Canadian Mindbuster. The Mindbuster has been at Canada's Wonderland since 1981 and is one of the opening day attractions. It's also the second of three wooden roller coasters at the park and is the longest single track wooden coaster in Canada at a length of 3,359 feet. The coaster features a modified out and back layout modeled after the shooting star wooden coaster found at Coney Island and passes underneath four sets of slides from Canada's Wonderland's water park The ride reaches a height of 90 feet tall with an 87 foot drop and reaches speeds of almost 55 miles an hour. Unfortunately I found this ride to be extremely rough even by wooden coaster standards and I awarded it the nickname the Great Canadian Spine Buster. At number 9, the Dragonfire Steel Coaster is another opening day attraction. Located in the medieval fair section of the park, this intermediate ride is a great introduction to looping coasters. After climbing the 78-foot lift hill, riders travel at speeds of 31 miles an hour through four inversions which include two loops, a corkscrew and a helix. Built by Aerodynamics, Dragonfire is the last of their coasters in existence to feature a counterclockwise turning corkscrew. Dragonfire was designed to operate with three trains, however the third train was never used due to the ride's short duration. Because of this, one of Dragonfire's three trains was modified for use on our next ride, the Bat. At number 8 on the list is the Bat. The Bat is a classic Vekoma Boomerang roller coaster, featuring a total of six inversions, three forward and three backwards. Riders are pulled backwards from the station and up a 121-foot lift hill, and then launched through a corkscrew and loop traveling at almost 47 miles an hour through the station and into a cobra roll before climbing a second lift hill. Then the ride repeats itself in reverse, traveling backwards through the twists, turns and loops before returning to the station. And at number 7, Wild Beast is the third wooden coaster at Canada's Wonderland, which reaches a height of 82 feet and travels at speeds of up to 55 miles per hour on this out and back coaster with a figure 8 design. Wild Beast is modeled after another ride at Coney Island Amusement Park that was called the Wildcat. In 2015, the track was partially reconstructed after the first hill to create a smoother ride experience, and fans of Jim Henson might recognize the ride as being featured in an episode of Fraggle Rock. And mixing it up a bit at number 6 is Wonder Mountain's Guardian, which opened in 2014 at a cost of $10 million. Wonder Mountain's Guardian is an innovative ride which combines the excitement of a roller coaster with elements of an interactive dark ride. The ride begins with a 60-foot climb up the side of Wonder Mountain, followed by a quick descent into the mountain itself. Surrounded by darkness, riders must battle the mythical creatures that populate the forests and caverns of this medieval world. A climactic battle with the dragon ensues before the Guardian lets out a final burst of fire, sending the train plummeting 30 feet into the core of the mountain. Wonder Mountain's Guardian is one of the few rides to contain this surprise element and features the largest drop track in the world. 
At number 5, the Backlot Stunt Coaster is the only coaster at Canada's Wonderland featuring a linear induction motor which accelerates riders from 0 to 40 miles per hour in under 4 seconds. Opened in 2005, the coaster was themed after the climactic car chase at the end of the 2003 film The Italian Job. The chase navigates through a parking garage along highways and past police cars with sirens and lights flashing and narrowly evades a run-in with a helicopter before crashing through a billboard. Early versions of the ride incorporated special effects like simulated gunfire and pyrotechnics, but in 2008 the ride was renamed to the Backlot Stud Coaster after the transition of the park to Cedar Fair. And although the coaster still provides a thrilling experience, much of the original theming and special effects have now been removed. At number 4, Vortex was the first suspended coaster to open at Canada's Wonderland in 1991, and is still one of the best rides in the park. The ride starts with a climb 98 feet up to the top of Wonder Mountain, and then plunges at speeds of almost 50 miles an hour towards a river that runs through the middle of the park. Vortex is one of the fastest roller coasters of its kind and is also the tallest currently operating suspended coaster in the world. Vortex's ride cars each swing independently which adds to the excitement, and the momentum of the ride causes the cars to keep swinging even after the train stops moving. Coming in at number 3, the Yukon Striker is the newest coaster at Canada's Wonderland. With a height of 233 feet and a top speed of 81 miles an hour, Yukon Striker is the world's tallest, longest and fastest dive coaster. Riders are lifted to the top of the hill and then suspended precariously over the edge of a 90 degree drop. After what seems like an eternity, the ride car is suddenly released and dives straight down 245 feet through an underground tunnel, and then proceeds through a series of four inversions including a complete 360 degree loop, the only one of its kind that exists on a dive coaster. With its combination of speed, height and inversions, the Yukon Striker offers a smooth yet exhilarating ride. Number 2 is the Behemoth. With its high speed, tall height, and rapid changes in direction and elevation, Behemoth is one of the most aggressive thrill rides in the park. This B&M coaster opened in 2008 at a cost of $26 million. Behemoth offers a long and exhilarating ride, covering over 5,000 feet in approximately 3 minutes and reaching speeds of up to 77 miles an hour. The ride cars feature a unique seating arrangement which gives every passenger unobstructed views of the park and surrounding area, including Toronto's CN Tower. And with no upper body restraints, you get ample airtime while traveling through five airtime hills, a hammerhead turn and two helixes. When it opened, Behemoth was the tallest and fastest roller coaster in Canada a record it held until 2012 when it was beat out by our final coaster. Number 1 is Leviathan. Leviathan is a record-breaking giga coaster. Standing at 306 feet tall, this is the tallest ride at Canada's Wonderland and one of the tallest coasters in the world. Leviathan was the first giga coaster designed by B&M and opened at the park in 2012. Leviathan is located in the medieval fair section of the park and is inspired by the mythical creature that shares its name. After climbing the absolutely massive lift hill, riders plummet through a 100 foot long tunnel before covering almost a mile of track at speeds of 92 miles an hour. With a three and a half minute ride experience, this ride is so huge that the track has to extend out and over the guest parking lot. Leviathan might be the undefeated champion of rides at Canada's Wonderland, but all three of these rides are surefire bets for adrenaline junkies. And rank as some of the top rated coasters in the world.
So what's your favorite coaster at Canada's Wonderland? Let me know in the comments below.